Kitchen. My name is Barbara. I'm joined today by my sister Beverly and my brother Steve. And on today's episode of Cooking with Love, we're going to be making a stromboli. Now, stromboli is a stuffed bread. Typically, it's made with either meat and cheese or vegetable and cheese. Today, we're going to be showing you three different versions of our breads. Now, funny enough, stromboli is actually not an authentic Italian dish. It was actually invented by an Italian-American in Philadelphia in 1950, uh, but it quickly became an uh, Italian favorite food. Well, are we ready to get started? Let's yes. get started. The ingredients we need to make our stromboli today is our pizza dough. Now, this is the universal dough recipe that we've showed you how to make previously. Um, one recipe is going to make two stromboli. So I've taken the universal dough, I've divided it in half, and I've shaped it into dough balls. And I've let them come to room temperature and let rise for an hour. Um, there's a video that we show you how to make the dough balls also that we'll link. The three types of stromboli we're going to make. One is going to be some cooked sausage and red pepper. Another is going to be cooked broccoli with garlic. And the last one is going to be pepperoni. And we're going to add some uh, cheddar cheese to the pepperoni. All of them get mozzarella cheese. Uh, the combination though of the cheddar with the mozzarella and the pepperoni go really, really well together. Uh, but all of the, all of the stromboli do, do use mozzarella. All right, we're going to start putting these together. I'm going to start to assemble the first stromboli. The one I'm going to put together is going to be broccoli with garlic. Uh, this broccoli has been cooked, so it's soft. First thing I'm going to do is add the garlic to the broccoli. A little bit of salt and pepper. And some mm. olive oil. And I'm just going to uh, toss the broccoli with the seasonings to make sure everything is coated. A little more olive oil. All right. Now our dough has been rising for about an hour at room temperature. And next we're going to um, either stretch it out or use a rolling pin to roll it out. Uh, I like for making stromboli, I like to uh, roll it out. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure that there's a bit of flour on it. And I'm gonna put some flour on the rolling pin too. And we want it to be approximately nine by 12 when we're done. And you can make it as uh, generous as you want. I like our stromboli to be very stuffed. And you just want to leave a little bit of a, the dough, on, a free edge on the dough so that you can seal it up. And last, we're going to add our cheese. And you can put whatever toppings that you like in here. You can add some red pepper if you like it a little bit spicier. Now yeah, that's good. Okay, now we're going to roll it up. And I'm going to bring this edge over and start pinching it together to seal it. And 
pinch the edge close. Then I have a pizza peel with some parchment paper and I'm going to transfer this and put the seam side down and just kind of roughly reshape it. All right, we're going to uh, set this in a warm place. It's got to rise for about another half hour before it gets baked. And we're going to brush the top with olive oil just before it goes into the oven. I'm going to be making pepperoni bread. I rolled the dough out into a rectangle. And the first thing I'm going to do is to lay the pepperoni down. You could buy the sliced pepperoni. It's much easier to use and thinner. All right, we're done with the pepperoni. I've overlapped some. I want no empty spots. I like them all filled in. And the next thing I'm going to do is add some shredded cheddar cheese. And that's up to you. If you don't like cheddar cheese on it, you don't have to. Or you can use a mixture of a shredded with something else. And then the last thing will be to add the pepperoni. I'm sorry, the mozzarella on top. Ready to roll it up. Try and roll it as tight as you can. I'm going to seal the edges. I'm going to let it raise again. We're going to pinch the edges. And I'm going to put it on parchment paper. Once it's risen again, I'm going to put a little olive oil over the top and it goes right into the oven. I'm going to finish rolling out my dough and I'm going to be showing you sausage and pepper with some mozzarella. This was my mother-in-law's signature stuffed bread. I'm going to use my hands. So what you want to do is coat the sausage all over the bread. Try to get it even. And these are peppers which have been fried, fresh peppers. You want to put them all over as well. mozzarella all over the top might as well use everything up okay now we roll tight as you can Pull and roll, pull and roll, and you want to put the side in a little bit as you're going. Stretching a little, rolling, whoops, if it breaks, that's no big deal. And of course you want to pinch the edges together, the ends, and you see how the edges are nicely folded when you tuck them in as you're rolling. Our rough. First stromboli has now risen for about a half hour. We're going to brush it with some olive oil. This is going to give it a nice beautiful crust. And then we're going to uh, launch it onto a baking uh, pizza steel. Minutes. Our stromboli are finished. 
Uh, now for my favorite part, the taste test. We're going to serve it with a little bit of dipping sauce. If you like a little uh, tomato sauce, we'll, we'll include a link for how to make homemade sauce. I love it with a little bit of sauce. I'm going to put some on my plate. Far. I like it plain. I like okay. it plain. All right. I'm going to try your sausage and pepper one first, Beth. Okay. Go for it. Mm. Mm. Very good. The crust is really good. Yeah, the crust is good. That was very the nice. The sausage is really good. The melted cheese and the peppers, very, very flavorful. I just tasted the pepperoni. Mm, it's yeah. good. Yes. The cheddar adds a little bit of extra to it. And the broccoli and garlic mm -hmm. speaks for itself. Mm. It's delicious. These are great as appetizers for parties. Yeah, the uh, just about any family gathering we have, there's always some stumbling being served as an appetizer. All right. Hopefully you try these breads. Very easy to make. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. my kitchen. Um, my, my name is, let's start again. <laughs> but yeah, I, I want to say cooking with love. I don't want to do that. There's our yet. first blooper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we